Okay, that stream is now on YouTube. I'm just going to double check it to make sure that it's coming through clear. Okay, it looks like we're live on YouTube, Wholeness and Balance Vibrations family. It's great to connect here with everyone, yoga, wisdom, tea, and incense through it all. And this is the tribe. Of course, we are here in this event that we've been coordinating every week to get everyone deeper into themselves. And I'm Seven Bomar, and we're getting this ready and it's live today, but this is a great time and opportunity for you to connect with yourself. It's a great time and opportunity to breathe into this space. You may have come from the dream world, or you know anything that have may have altered your vibration the moon is moving you know there's a lot going on around us so we just want to do something every day at least to make ourselves stable and to bring that energy into our lives and i'm here with my great brother andrew in the studio and a lot is happening over here as always but we're about to lift up this vibration with yoga tea and wisdom so it looks like that we're pretty much ready to take off. So we're gonna hit, gonna go ahead and get started. It looks like the broadcast and the stream is coming through clear. Also for those that are, I just will let everybody know. So those that you see on the camera today, first of all, for those that are on the line, it'd be great if you turn your camera on, if you have not already, we give thanks. And thank you so much for being here and representing that reflection of someone else because they may be watching this on the youtube side and be like ah I, that person looks like they're they're just like me i i, I probably would want to do that let me get into that synchronicity so that's a deep way for us to connect and that's why we decided to bring this yoga to youtube and we decided to give others the opportunity to come in and to practice yoga if you want to do this and be on the screen here and represent with tribe, you can do so following the links that are in the description or joining secret energy and you'll get the email notification about how to do that. And then also it's live here on YouTube. So if you're a little bit shy and you, but you still want to get that yoga in, you can do that now. Also remember there are now three of these. I know two of them came out really well. So this means that even after today, if you want to keep practicing yoga, cause we're doing this every Thursday that we can at this point, make sure that you go and catch those older classes because it's still just stretching more into yourself and you can keep doing those even daily until you memorize those positions and you'll actually find yourself already on point with your yoga so this is another one that we're doing and but there's other ones already i also want to let everybody here know that um in the upcoming weeks that we will be attempting to simulcast this and so it will again bring some technological challenges maybe in place. So we're gonna leap those hurdles together and see how that all works. But our intentions are to keep going with this. Um, just wanna make sure I got everything out of the way and I'm letting the stream breathe a little bit so we can go ahead and get started. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna start the process of the wisdom aspect of things. And I'm gonna leave my camera on like this. I wanted to let everybody know also, if you're inside of the Zoom, and you're seeing the gallery view. So this means you're seeing all of those small windows. If that's the view you want, you can have that. Also, if you just spotlight this window, it'll blow up for you and you'll be able to see us here and it'll be a bigger picture. So I just wanted to let you know that. Also, if you're on the YouTube side, you're gonna see the gallery view until we begin yoga. Uh, and that's just, hey, we're showing force. So if it's not, if everybody's not gonna be on the screen, then what's the use of doing it? So we're gonna do that for now. But when we switch over into the yoga, we want the big screen to be on. So I'm asking my moderators out there that if somehow we make that transition and I've been taking a thousand breaths, so I don't really realize how to connect with my brain anymore, do open the line again and say, hey, you need to put it on big screen. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, wholeness. <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely excited to be here on another blessed day, having this opportunity to connect. Um, Savon and I have been now having these experiential yoga classes every single day for probably about the last three months. <laughs> and now um, I happen to be going over to Mexico to go teach some classes and I'm heading back to Los Angeles to do a meditation app uh, filming for Headspace. And um, I really just wanna give thanks. I wanna send my love 
to each and every one of you for joining us in these classes and let you all know that they're not going to stop. We are going to continue to bring this cultivated wisdom together no matter where I am. So I'm going to be logging in on Zoom as well, wherever I am, to be able to jump into sharing this wisdom with you to let you know that it, it goes on. It continues on beyond time and space. So I'm excited to be able to have the opportunity to practice with you here, but excited to practice with you anywhere. <laughs> so we are on page 394 of the Bhagavad Gita, and this is verse 30. And it starts with, relinquish all activities onto me, devoid of egoism and expectation, with your attention concentrated on the soul, free from feverish worry, be engaged in the battle of activity. And uh, there's a little star here at the bottom of this, and it says, by three roads, we can reach wisdom, the road of experience, and this is the most difficult, the road of action, and this is the easiest, the road of reflection, and this is the noblest, Confucius. Sincere God seekers do not renounce true duties of the proper activities necessary to perform them. They overcome egoism, which makes one responsible as the doer and as the receiver of good and bad karma. True devotees feel that since God created them, he alone is responsible for all their activities. They work for God without worrying knowing it is he who is working through their soul faculties as sensed in the depths of calm meditation. Materialists who feel deserving of the fruits of their actions egotistically believe in their own leadership, create karmic bonds that entangle them and mesh them in good and evil. The yogis acting in attunement with God's will as ascribing to him all actions and their fruits make God responsible. In the performance of both worldly and divine duties, yogis thus remain unattached and free. The actions of selfish men spring from the desires born of ego hopes. The divine man works neither at the, di at the dictates of egoism nor at those of selfish desire. He is devoid of I-ness and idea the idea of the I am the doer. Since he is working for God, he has no individual desires, nor does he hope to attain any material goal. The Gita stresses the renouncement repeated so often of ego consciousness, material hopes, and desires, because these renew the roots of cancerous longings that devour the soul's peace. The roots of unfulfilled desires and frustrated expectations sprout into worries and misery, making reincarnations. The enlightened man performs actions to please God, known to him as the sole creator and genesis of all activities, and tunes in with the wishes of God, who guides him to his proper activities. He does not try to frustrate the divine plan by selfish will, nor to impede its fulfillment by non-action. The true devotee says, Lord, steer my boat of activity and meditation to the shore of thy presence. Just as men nightly forsake all physical and mental activities to enjoy the pleasure of sleep, so the yogi relinquishes all desires for the fruits of his daily activities to enjoy the ecstasy of attunement with God. Without vanquishing the divine ego-inspired expectations and desires, the devotee cannot enjoy the consciousness of the calm bliss in self, as it is felt in Kriya Yoga meditation, in which all material consciousness is automatically dissolved in the union of soul and spirit. The material man is an ego plus worries. The divine man is a calm soul plus the eternal joy of spirit. The yogi is not only relinquishing the yogi not only relinquishes egoism during the all surrendering union yoga of mind with the bliss of meditation but during ordinary wakeful activity as well in the highest state of ecstasy the yogi can remain united to spirit even while working with the mind and body 
to carry out the divine plan. By engaging with the divine consciousness in all of his activities, the devotee is free of egoistic limitations during wakefulness as in the ordinary man during sleep. The Lord does not ask man to be without divine ambition, divine desires, or divine activities that lead to liberation, but rather to stop working under the influence of the manipulative ego, which casts the soul again and again endlessly into pits of reincarnations. The Lord's macrocosmic consciousness guides all creation and its activities. One should not interfere with the liberating divine rhythm by following the dark consoles of egoism, forsaking all selfish motives, expectations, and aims the devotee should realize the unity with God, performing all activities as dedicated, as dictated by his intuitive perception of divinity. And that is today's reading on chapter three, it's verse 30, and it's on page 396 is where it ends. Absolutely wonderful to have the opportunity to share that it is this continuous action that is intertwined, interwoven with our divine incarnation that allows us to fully align with that which is the divine. And so it's, you know, being truly intuitive and acting from that space of knowing that your actions are not looking for some type of material or, or you know, worldly um, result. Instead, those results are allowing us to deeply connect with that which is our divinity within that is much deeper than our skin and goes beyond time and space. And that is why those actions are divine, because they are actually intertwined with our true nature, which is our dharma. So I'm happy to be able to share this word with you. And now we sip a tea. Wherever you are in the world, blessings, cheers. Much love to another day of life. Mm -hmm. Ready? <laughs> All right, tribe. So we are going to go ahead and get into the yoga. And I just wanted to add to what was being mentioned about action. It's very important to realize that we can believe that we're anything and we can think that we're anything. And you can imagine the imagination of a child and many of the things that we've wanted to do this life. I wanna help children, I should start a hospital. I really want to, to assist poor people. All of those are thoughts. The actions are what count because when you get out there and you go and do it, then it actually shows and it confirms that your meditation is matching with your external acts. And so I just wanted to give that to everybody. And uh, also we're gonna make the camera big. For those on YouTube. There we go. And if you have your sage or your incense, your Palo Santo, your frankincense, whatever it is, this is the opportunity to really bring some loving intention to your space. These are sacred herbs. As we all know, plants are what sustain us. So using these sacred herbs to cleanse the space. To bring forth a deeper sense of harmony. Harmony with that which is within and that which is throughout. And we begin today's practice in a comfortable seat. As you take this comfortable seat, maybe you sit upon a pillow. Yep. Yeah, it's all good. You can see, we can take this comfortable seat, perhaps sitting on a pillow or whatever feels best for you. Just uprighting the spine, creating more space for you to align to that which is your inner divine. So you place the hands onto the knees, really lift through the chest, take a deep inhale, 
And as you exhale, draw the navel in and feel a roundness in the spine. Inhale, lift and lengthen heart up. Exhale, really round. Inhale, lift and lengthen heart up. Exhale, round. Creating a deeper sense of awareness of your breath as you expand and then contract. Really emulating that which is the universe. Constantly expanding, constantly contracting. Each and every one of us is a reflection of that complete awareness. That macrocosm that is inherent within the microcosm. Three more deep breaths. Nice. As you come back up to center, press the hands onto the knees and press the elbows out as you circle clockwise, creating more space through the spine. So you can lift through your neck, bring some oxygen into the brain, really allowing your inhales to match your exhales, letting go of any stress, any unneeded tension, anything that is hindering your body from full fluidity. From this full awareness that we are meant to flow with effortless ease. Bringing forth health, wealth, prosperity, productivity, and true action. Nice deep inhale brings us back through center. Nice little gentle balancing posture as you extend the legs forward. Maybe you can bring your hands to your toes, extending the legs out, finding a balance here, really lifting the chest, breathing into your best, mm. finding stillness for two more deep breaths. Go ahead and opposite the cross of your feet. So the less dominant foot is probably on the bottom now. Hands come back to knees. Go ahead and opposite the rotation of those Sufi rolls. So we're now going counterclockwise. Optimizing the breath by bringing awareness into the breath. Maybe you close your eyes and focus on how it feels. As we shut off one sense, we tend to amplify others. This is a prime opportunity to breathe into your body and bring that awareness from your mind into your body. Anytime that the thoughts begin to wander off to what's happening next or what's happened in the past, come back to the present. The present moment is the most important moment that we can direct our energy towards. Really open up all the way from the sacrum. Feel the energy rise into the lower belly. Feel that energy move into the space of the diaphragm, connecting to the rib cage as you circle as large as you can. Really create space through the spine. Uplift that energy into your heart, which is divine. Sending the cosmic vibration of intuition through each and every cell of you. As that energy moves up in between the shoulders, allow it to speak through your throat, creating harmonious vibrations that bring forth a new view. As the energy moves up into the space of your third eye, really open up the neck, the chin, the top palate, allowing that energy to flow in as the energy moves all the way to the crown of the head. See if you can find that deep circular motion spiraling here like a double helix of energy, bringing forth the divinity of all life into you. Go ahead and find stillness in that comfortable seat as your spine stacks. 
directly here on the earth, bringing forth a connection into your truest self-worth. As you allow yourself to root down into the earth, feel that root, allow you the nourishment to rise up to the heavens, drawing the shoulder blades onto the back body, really feel the lift of the heart. Let's take a deep inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Deep inhale, hands reach up, lift up, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one, deep inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to heart center. As you draw your hands to heart center, lift your heart into your hands as your hands are just conduits of your heart. When we speak of action, those actions come from our hands that are intrinsically connected to our hearts. So let's energize an intention at our heart center and allow that intention to move into the action of our hands, pressing firmly together at the heart, feeling the connection, the balance, the harmony that resides within. Take a deep inhale to prepare for Om. Next inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. And as you exhale, forward fold, really reach your fingertips forward, begin to sway side to side, relax the head and the neck, creating a little bit more space in your hips, drawing a deeper awareness in your fingertips. As you reach the fingertips forward, see if you can lift the palms. Again, acting from this space of truth, tapping into your inner youth, bringing forth a playful sense of discovery into the body, the mind, and the spirit. On your next inhale, gently bring both hands over to the right side of the mat, really stretching all the way through your left side body, feeling the stretch from your left hip all the way to your left rib cage, all the way to your left pinky finger. Maybe you can place your left hand on top of your right, creating more space through the side body. As you inhale, look underneath the left underarm. As you exhale, look underneath the right underarm. Inhale. Exhale. Really creating length all the way from the base of your spine to the crown of your head. Allowing the breath to do the work of clearing any sensations that may be limiting, blocking, or obstructing that which is your full flow of energy, of life force into this existence. Nice deep inhale brings you back through center. Go ahead and rise up again. Release the feet, find that balancing position, extending the legs out, allowing that fresh blood flow all the way to the soles of the feet. Lift the chest, bring life your best. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, switch the cross of the feet. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Mm. Extend the fingertips forward, gentle sway side to side. As you inhale, think of allowing the breath to glide into the space right behind the heart, opening up the shoulder blades, allowing you to extend forward, to move forward with more awareness, with more conviction, with a deeper sense of knowing 
that these actions are not for us, right? We're not doing this for ourself. We're doing this for the higher self, right? The deep sense of realization that each and every cell of you is co-ordained by that which is the natural awareness of conscious expansion. Your actions are just a counterpart of the whole, all intertwined with the divine. As you inhale, go ahead and bring both hands over to the left side, Matt. Reaching through the fingertips, perhaps you bring your right hand on top of your left, creating more space through the side body. Diving deeper into the inhales, lengthening into the exhales. Perhaps you place your right hand on top of your left, inhaling, looking underneath the right arm. As you exhale, look underneath the left. Inhale, big breaths. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, channels the oxygen in. The exhale releases carbon dioxide, which is often the best way to channel any toxins out of the body. So take some deep breaths. So often that we're caught in spaces of worry or perhaps spaces of feeling unsure, take some deep breaths, come back to your brain, come back to the relaxation of knowing that all that is happening is for the benefit of your conscious path in this time space continuum. Last three deep inhales, create more space through the side body. And one draws you back through center. Inhale up. As you exhale, gently release the feet. Come into a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, tucking your toes, gentle circles into the shoulders, bring some circular movement into the wrists opening up the toes, breathing deeply in and out through the nose, finding that awareness, opening up your fingertips like roots, allowing the fingertips to spread. As you draw forth the nourishment of the earth into your body, gentle circles in the opposite direction. Allowing your being to be a clear reflection of that which is spirit, that which is source. Allowing each and every cell of you to shine. While at the same time, focusing your mind on drawing awareness into the space of your body that needs it most. Maybe today it's your hips. Maybe today it's your shoulders. Maybe today it's your heart. You come back through center, stack the shoulders over the wrist. Go ahead and press the right elbow forward, then the left elbow forward. Really opening up as much as possible through the underarms, creating some more space here. Tapping into the inhales and the exhales. Keep the breath moving, keep the body grooving. Nice, deep inhales, long exhales. Really shuttle any toxins out of the wrist, out of the palms, as these hands are for creating, taking action, writing those emails that you need to, knocking out that beautiful next agreement, writing the vision that you have for the future. As the spring equinox is soon approaching, we want to bring forth that deep sense of integrity into our bodies, our minds, and our spirit so that we can be in full harmony with the seasons. This is our time to flower, to bring forth that deep sense of awareness that we can bring beauty into this world that will then manifest into the fruits that are gifted to us as a 
deep awareness that each and every one of our actions comes with due fulfillment. So you come back through center, go ahead and spread your fingertips and allow your fingertips to face the outside of the mat. Gentle sway left and then right, really opening up through your shoulder girdle, creating more space in your trapezius muscles. As you press into your fingertips, lean the head right and then left. As you lean to the right, lean your left ear to your left shoulder. As you lean to the left, lean your right ear to the right shoulder creating more space through the side body, seeing if you can find more space in between your rib cage and your hips, opening up through your fingertips. Last three deep breaths. Mm. Nice deep inhale brings us back through center. Go ahead and place your fingertips now down onto the mat. Lift your palm away from the mat and take some big circles into your shoulder blades. Breathing fresh energy behind your heart. Tapping into the integrity of your art. Not allowing your art to be over influenced by the outside world or by what people say is right or say you should do. Instead, tapping back into that which is true, your intuitive awareness of the God that is within you. Go ahead and opposite the rotation, big circles in the opposite direction. Spreading through the fingertips, allowing the shoulders to move. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, go ahead and extend your fingertips forward and draw your knees back. See if you can get your knees to stack right underneath your hips. Gentle sway side to side, really open up through your fingertips. Lift your elbows away from the mat. Wrap your triceps so that the biceps face towards the sky and allow your breath to be the medicine that gets you high higher into a deeper sense of knowing yourself, higher to the connection of all the tools that you've been dealt, all the resources, all the skills that you have within your being, allowing them to be here, aware, fully optimized so that you can move forward with your highest intention. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, melt your heart towards the mat, press your hips up and back, really spread through your toes. Take a deep inhale in through your nose. As you exhale, plant your palms and walk your knees back towards your tabletop position. Go ahead and extend your left leg out to the back of the mat. And bring the left heel down to the mat. Bring the right hand directly underneath the right shoulder and lift the left hand up to the sky. This is you create some space through your side body. Take a deep inhale here. Find the length through your left fingertips as you reach your left fingertips towards the front of the mat. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, really do your best to draw the navel in towards the midline, creating one straight line all the way through your side body. If you're feeling like you want a little challenge today, you can lift your left leg up. You may need to find that balance <laughs> on the right knee to lift that left leg up, really creating space all the way through your side body. Feel the energy begin to build, feel the heat begin to build. Take a deep inhale here. If you're feeling adventurous, you can bring your left elbow and left knee together. If you fall over, it's all good. You can get back into it. We're going to go for Five big breaths, exhaling in, inhaling out. Exhaling in, inhaling out. Last two big breaths. And one. Full extension here, really reaching the left hand forward and the left leg back. Bring the left hand down to the mat. Take some big circles now into that left hip. 
So we activated the left hip. We opened up through the side body. Now we're lubricating the hip socket. Big breaths, opposite the rotation, big circles in the opposite direction. Allowing ourselves to move into the subtle nature of the body. Deep inhale here, go ahead and draw the left knee down. Give your hips a nice little shake side to side, relax the head and the neck. Be like the happiest dog shaking off any stress. Could be a happy little chihuahua. Maybe you're a pit bull today. Maybe you're feeling like a Doberman Pinscher or maybe just a golden retriever. Maybe just a happy human <laughs> living happy and free, allowing your breath to move into infinity. Deep breaths here, bring you back through center, stacking the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the toes underneath the heels. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, heart forward for your cow pose. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, draw the navel in. Big breaths. Mm. Last three. Two big breaths. Last one, deep inhale. Exhale. Really plant into your palms, extend your right leg to the back of the mat. Go ahead and bring your right heel down and see that you have that nice heel to heel alignment. The more that you bring the heel and the heel into alignment and the knee to stack underneath your hip, the easier it will be for you to find balance. Lift your right hand up towards the sky, really open up here. And as soon as you feel that right foot plant down, think of opening your arms and then draw the navel in towards the midline. See if you can upright the pelvis, really create more space in the upper chest and more engagement in the lower belly. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, reach your right hand forward, really stretch through your side body. Deepening the inhales, lengthening the exhales, creating more space through the side body, opening up that whole right lung. Take a deep inhale here. If you're feeling adventurous, you can lift your right leg up. Finding that balance, taking your time, really feeling the breath as you continue to align. If you fall out of balance, it's okay. Keep trying. We use our breath. We find our balance. We take our time. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, perhaps the elbow and knee come together. This is a lot of hip stability. The hips are oftentimes the muscles that do a lot of work and receive very little attention. So maybe after this class, you have the time to do a little foam roller, get into your hips. Maybe you get a massage and get your hips massaged. Maybe you have a nice little tennis ball and you can roll into those hips. If you're feeling that the hips are lacking that stability, this is the opportunity to breathe into that space. Last one, deep inhale. As you exhale, elbow and knee come together. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring your right hand down to the mat. Take some big circles now into that right hip. So we went from stability now to mobility, right? So we build the muscle. And then once the muscle is built, we allow it to flow fluidly. We tell it, okay, now that you're nice and strong and activated, you can move in all of these directions. Opposite the rotation, spread through your toes, big breaths in and out through your nose. Last three, two, and one. Bring the right knee down to the mat. Again, gentle swivel of the hips side to side. Allow that movement of the hip side to side to roll all the way into the spine, moving that energy up the midline to the crown of the head. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, find stillness, press into your palms, wrap your triceps, 
feel the eyes of the elbows reach forward as you tuck your toes, pedal into your first down dog pose. Really pedal out the feet. Create more space in your hamstrings. Breathe fresh awareness into the legs. Relax your head and your neck. Energize your arms. See if you can create more space all the way from your shoulders to your fingertips. Pressing into the palms, spreading through the fingertips. Opening up the ankles, wiggling out the feet, letting go of any false energy. Nice. Look forward at the top of your mat and gently walk the feet to the top of the mat. As you inhale up halfway, lift the chest. As you exhale, bend your knees generously and rest your rib cage on your knees. Bring your hands to opposite elbows and gently begin to bend the knees right and left. See that there's enough space in between your feet to fit both of your fists so your feet are hips distance allowing you space to move into the hips, relax the head and the neck. Mm, deep breaths. Creating space, go ahead and opposite the rotation. Big bends in the knees, opening up through the shoulders. It's just feel good yoga. What are we here to do? Feel good. Love life, shine our light, be divine. That's what we're here to do. All that other stuff, not really true to you. <laughs> and back to that which is your divine purpose. Take a deep inhale here. Take a generous bend in both knees. Inhale, rise to stand. Hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead and bring the feet together at the top of the mat. Inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your heart. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Inhale, breathe it up. Exhale, forward fold. Utilize your breath as you bend your knees, exhale all the way out, come onto your tippy toes, lifting your heels away from the mat. Maybe you can place your fingertips down, lift your chest forward. As you exhale, press your heels down, maybe you can lift your toes. Inhale, heart forward, lift and lengthen. Exhale, straighten the legs, lift the toes. Inhale, heart forward, bend those knees. Really oxygenating the ankles, the knees, the toes. Keep the breath moving with the flow of the pose. See if you can bring more awareness to your toes. Maybe even spreading out your pinky toe. Maybe you can bring more awareness to your ankles and feel how they move forward. Creating more space as you lift the feet. Maybe you can bring more awareness to your knees. Opening up the space of the knees, working into the joints. Last three, big breaths. Two deep breaths. On your next one, plant your palms, walk the feet back to plank pose. Nice and strong in your plank pose, bring the ankles together, press into your toes, Stack the shoulders directly over the wrist, gentle circles to the right. Warming up your shoulders, your wrists, feeling the lift of your lower belly. Opposite the rotation. Maybe you can move into opening up the toes and the ankles even more. Maybe even releasing the feet down to the floor. Building flexibility in the feet is key to really walk with more tranquility. 
bringing that awareness into the feet and the toes. As we bring the ankles back together, find the length, nice deep inhale, bring the knees down, the chest down and the chin. Inhale, scoop the heart up, let the breath come in, exhale, hips up and back. Find your down dog for five deep breaths. On your next exhale, bend your knees, look in between your hands, step or hop it forward. Inhale up halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Suri Namaskar A, three times, deep inhale. Deep exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, lift and lengthen. Plant your palms, bend your knees, step or hop back, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Use your breath. Three deep breaths here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look in between your hands, step or hop it forward. Inhale, up halfway, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. For these next two Suri Namaskar, you can add or subtract anything that feels best for you. Keep it linear in this asymmetrical flow. Deep inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. As you exhale, forward fold, let go. This is a perfect opportunity. If you want a little strengthening, you can add a Bakasana. You can hop it back through your Chaturanga. You can inhale into a little shoulder shrug side to side. Feel your down dog as you glide the spine up and back. Relax. Today I'm feeling a little bit more energized. I had a long drive yesterday, so I took the time to rest and relax. And now I'm feeling like, let's go. That's how I'm feeling. So you guys are going to get that let's go flow. <laughs> Bend the knees, look in between the hands, step or hop it forward. Inhale up halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Only do what feels best for your body. As you inhale, maybe you add a little back bend. As you exhale, maybe you deepen your forward fold. Planting the palms, step or hop it back. Lower through the chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your time. Breathe into your inner shine. Knowing that you are divine. That just by you showing up for this class, you're already that much closer to being the full expression of that which is your highest self. Deep inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, look in between the hands, step or hop it forward. Inhale, up halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last Suri Namaskar A. Give it your best. Give it your breath. Forward folding. Plant the palms. Step or hop it back. Inhale it up. Exhale, down dog. Utilizing your awareness to tap into the present moment. Take a deep inhale. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Starting with the left leg here to honor the divine feminine first. Lifting up through the left leg, creating more space. Tapping into our inner self-worth. Place a deep bend into your left knee. Take five big circles. Really getting into those hips. Those are our creative center. That's where all the creativity comes from. Opposite the rotation. Think about the hips. That's also where we were all birthed from. 
That's the creative center. Nice deep inhale, open up the left leg as much as you can. As you exhale, bring the left knee across the body to the right upper arm, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it across, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it across, tap. Last three. Two. And one. Left leg reaches up and back. Step the left foot in between the hands. Come high up onto your fingertips. Take some gentle circles into that left hip. Creating more space here. Opposite the rotation, gentle circles in the opposite direction. Nice deep inhale, heart moves forward. Draw the navel in, feel the lower belly lift. Extend the left hand forward and then the right. Reaching those palms forward. Nice deep inhale, rise up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Draw the navel in towards the midline. Really engage the lower belly. Bring your hands to your lower rib cage and draw the navel in. Then find a deeper bend in your left knee. Awesome. Hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up, reintegrate. As you exhale, right hand forward, left hand back. Really spread through the fingertips. Create space. Dive deeper into this twist. Nice deep inhale here. Little smile on your face. As you exhale, tap the right knee down for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the knee down. Right hand comes down. Left hand reaches up. Nice. You can bring your left hand onto your left knee. See if you can twist a little bit deeper. Maybe put a bend in that left knee, bouncing into that right hip flexor. Take a deep inhale here as we're opening up the hips, releasing the lower back. Left hand comes down to the ground. Pull the left toes back towards your shin. Gentle sway side to side. Let the breath move into the hamstring. Big breaths. Create space. Hmm. Big breath. Hmm. Maybe you roll the ankle, open up your toes, breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Last two. And one, put a bend back into your left knee, stacking that knee over the ankle. Lift the back knee up off the mat. Inhale, rise up to crescent pose. The most true expression of your crescent pose. Pressing into those intentions. Lift up, breathe up, lengthen up. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Step the left foot back. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up to the up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Take your time to truly bring the breath all the way from the tops of the lungs down to the bottom of the belly. And then as you exhale, exhale all the way from the bottom of the belly to the tops of the lungs, clearing out any false energy, any stagnant energy, anything that doesn't serve you so that you can create space for what does. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Reach the right leg up high. Take a bend in your right knee. Open up the right hip. Big circles. Opposite the rotation. Big circles in the opposite direction. Inhale. Open up the right knee as much as possible. Almost as if you can get your right foot to touch your left shoulder. As you exhale, bring the right knee across the body to the left upper arm. Tap. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Tap. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Tap. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Tap. Last three. Big breaths.
Last two. Last one. Right leg extends up and back, full extension. Step the right foot in between the hands. High up onto your fingertips, gentle circles here. Bring that awareness into the ankle. Bring that awareness into the knee. Bring that awareness into your hips to bring forth the security of balance. It's when we become balanced that we're far more creative, right? It's when you have that discipline, but you also have the freedom to flow. That's what creates creativity flow. It's what allows us to tap into what we already know and then blossom that into that, which is our art, opposite the rotation, gentle circles in the opposite direction. Now reintegrate, press into your right foot, stack the knee over the ankle, really feel the lift of the back leg, extend left hand forward, then right hand forward. Draw the navel in towards the midline. Take a nice deep inhale as you find the length of your spine. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Nice, as you exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. Now reintegrate the lower belly. Maybe you draw your hands to your core, Lift your back knee up a little bit more. Keep the bend in the front knee. Inhale, hands reach up. As you exhale, left hand forward, right hand back. Feel the twist. Expand your wingspan. Broaden your horizons. Take a deep inhale here. Bend your back knee. Tap down for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Keep that back knee down. Left hand reaches down, right hand reaches up. Twist. And take a few bounces here into your hips. You can also bring your right hand onto your right knee and twist deeper, lifting your right rib cage away from your right thigh. Breathing into your breath. Allowing yourself to get high on prana, life force that which is your energetic connection to all consciousness. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, right hand comes down. Gently pull the right toes back towards you. Gentle circles here. Opening up, creating some more space. Tapping into your body with a smile on your face. Practicing yoga in this beautiful place that is your body. Right? All that outside stuff, it's all just an illusion. That which is your temple. It's the most profound space for the spark of divinity that is you. So really work on your temple daily. Take your time to clean your temple. Cleanse out the insides. Clean up the outsides. <laughs> and really find that divine space so that spirit can move through you. You become a conduit, a channel, a circuit of energy. Take a deep inhale here. Go ahead and reintegrate, placing your right foot down. Stacking the knee over, right toe mound. Utilize your breath as you lift the back knee up. Heel over toes. Inhale, rise up to your crescent pose. Really integrate into it. Bring the palms together. Lift the heart up. Deep inhale. Exhale, both hands come down. Step the right foot back. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Press into the feet, press into the palms. Feel the lift of the lower belly. Take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look in between the hands, step or hop it forward. Inhale, up halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Mm. Gently sit the knees down, sit the hips down. See if you can graze the fingertips down to the ground and lift the hands up. Take a deep inhale into your chair pose. As you exhale, hands to heart center. Twist, right elbow, left knee. 
Diving a little bit deeper now into these twists, drawing the heart towards the hands. See if you can allow the hips to settle down towards the mat a little bit more. Awesome. If you would like, you can open your arms to explore that wingspan. Tap back into the inhales. Dive deeper into the exhales. Feeling the lift of the lower belly. Really opening up the kidneys, bringing out the organs of purification, your kidneys and your liver. Nice deep inhale brings you back through center. Hands reach up, lift up, lengthen up. Exhale, both hands to heart, left elbow, right knee. Lift your heart towards your hands. So you can sit those hips down a little bit more, squeeze the knees together, utilize your breath, begin to explore. Perhaps you expand the arms. Breathe. Behind the balance comes from the breath. Last two, deep breath. And one, inhale brings you back through center. Hands reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Really relish in this nice rest of the legs. <laughs> Plant your palms, bend your knees. Step or hop it back, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Starting with the left leg again. Left leg reaches up to the sky. Step the left foot in between the hands. Go ahead and ground your back heel down so your back foot is in a 45 degree angle. Bring your left hand to your left glute. Wrap the glute down. Extend the right hand forward. Take a deep inhale here. Both hands reach forward. Extend all the way through your side body. Feel one straight line of energy from your right heel to your fingertips. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Deepen the inhales, lengthen the exhales, move the heart forward. Keep a bend in that left knee. Feel your breath move up. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Nice, go ahead and open up the arms into your warrior two. Creating new space, finding a new view. Back foot is now parallel to the back of the mat. See if you can draw your navel in and tuck your tailbone. Nice. Now place your gaze over those left fingertips. Breathe into that left knee. Straighten the left leg. And then bend. Now straighten. Draw the navel in. And bend. Lower belly active. Straighten. And bend. Last.